Howdy folks, Shabby is back, and he's back to go into the Black Rock Mine. And that's probably all we'll do for today, I, uh, I might be able to get back to the prison today, who knows. But we're mainly going to be in the mine today, so be kind of low key, there's not going to be, there's not going to be any wolf killing, probably. Oh, look at this. Look at this coal here. Hey there. I almost missed that piece of coal just up there on the wall. Usually you don't look on the walls for coal, but... Apparently, that's a spot. That is a place. Okay, there's some cedar here, it looks like. Yep. Um, Alright. We killed the wolf. We dispatched the wolf. Nuka baby's in the house. Hello. Welcome. Welcome in. I'm gonna get this deer hide right now, because we need we need deer hides. Possibly in the future we might need some deer hides, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get this. We'll see if we can just do it without a fire, maybe. Who knows? Let's see. Pest, pest and nuka, already already on board. Glad glad to have you. On the SS Shabby. Okay. Alright, I don't know if that's... Okay. Hang on, I'm just warming up. I'm warming up here. I'm warming up. Oh, yeah, it was great. Oh, yeah. I enjoyed my fun in the sun. Yes, Nuka. I've never been so hungry in my life. Let's go ahead and get some... Uh, I might as well just go ahead, since we've already... This is not very efficient, but whatever. Yeah, we got some yard work done and caught some rays, and uh, that's about it. Nothing too crazy. Let's just do this so we don't starve. Don't want to lose well fed just before we're about to climb. In fact, I might just make might make some pies. Probably would probably make sense to make some pies here. Some climbing pies. All right, do we need guts? Not really. Not really. Okay, one more thing while it's like, you know, it's kind of nice weather-wise here. So let's... I don't think there are any cattails down there. I'm gonna go over here. I think there's sometimes a birch, but I thought it was over on this side of the rock, but it might be on the other side of the rock. So let's try and grab that. Pies are always the answer. I agree with you 100%, Nuka. Absolutely. It is the answer. I would do anything for a drink right now. Okay. All right. We checked. It's not there. All right, let's go. Let's head back. My dog may go ballistic here in just a sec. There are roofers next door, and he... My dog does not like roofing. Does not... Does not, uh... Enjoy that... That process at all. Up feathers. Oh, I've never been so hungry in my life. Okay, now let's cook it up. Let's see. We want to conserve on our fuel here, so let's make sure we're in the outside part of the cave. Okay, it's in here somewhere, so we'll just. Okay, here we go. I love just striking a match and just, uh, if I, oh, never mind, it's too late now. I was going to show you how I, 
There's a way you can like make it look like you're literally throwing a match into the fire and it's starting. But you waste a match. Oh. Maybe next fire I'll I'll show you what I'm what I'm talking about. Um Okay. So let's go ahead and get a pie going. Did I pick up that piece of meat? I don't think I did. I think I left it out there. Oop. Oh shoot. There we go. Here we go. We had a tweaker on our roof once. Okay. That's different than a roofer. Uh, the dogs went absolutely apeshit all day long and we had no idea why. <laughs> That's amazing. That is amazing. You never know, man. You never know. What was it that Hunter S. Thompson said? You can turn your back on a friend, on a person, but never turn your back on a drug. Something like that. Uh, let's see here. Venison pie. It's probably down here at the bottom. What are we, what are we missing? Cook it. Oh my God! We don't have cooking oil. Oh, we don't have flour. Wait a minute. Oh, I know exactly where I left it. <laughs> I know exactly where I left it. I left it on the little bench in the mountaineer's hut. In that little stool, I left I left my oil and my flour on that stool. <laughs> uh, shoot, man. Oh well. That sucks. That sucks. Okay, well, anyways. Guess we'll just do this. No pies, I know. Pies denied. Flick the match. Yeah, I was sciencing whether the fire had more of a chance to start that way. Looks great to do. Yeah, it looks so cool. I tested it and it does actually burn, use an extra match to do that. So you, so what you do is you you light the match, and you're holding it in your hand, and then you start a fire, and select matches as the you know as the source, and then the animation is they they kind of throw the you know Will or Acid will throw the the match into the fire, and then it starts, and it's awesome. My wife went out there and, she, and he and he said, "Did you get my note?" <laughs> Scared the absolute s out of her. Cops were called. No dogs were shot. Everything went better than expected. <laughs> oh my lord! Yeah, I, I had a I had a little incident yesterday with some tweakers, but it was not nearly as funny or exciting or interesting. But they just. They basically just pulled up. I live on a corner lot, and they just pulled up on the sort of the side without the the driveway, and just dumped all their garbage out in the street, and then drove away. It was great. I do not recommend wolf uh, roof tweakers. Yeah, that's probably a good plan. Not a good plan. I need to find food. Did you get my note? <laughs> what a weird thing. Uh, what? Yeah, I've been dropping it down the chimney. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Ooh, look at that. Look, we're getting cold in here. We're getting cold. Let me see if I back up just a little bit. No, okay, here's the here's the threshold right here. Okay. So we'll sleep in this as long as we have a fire. We'll 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 hang out in this area, and then when we want to go sleep with the fire out, we'll just back up, and then we're nice and cozy back here. Okay, is there anything we can do? While we're just chilling, probably have too many sticks. We can drop these sticks, or just throw them on the fire. Actually, oh, oh man, there we go. All right, 
we are about to get some coal as well, so we don't really have to climb with the coal. So we'll just leave, we'll just keep one on us. Um, what else do we need to do here? Just getting prepped for climbing, that's all. Your dog probably thinks he has those roofers treed and is having a great time. <laughs> that's funny. Treed. He treats some roofers. No, he is scared. He's just so scared. The dog's just like running around like... I had to take him outside to go to the bathroom because he was just like... He just like, he did not want to be out there. But the part, I mean, we just had our roof, uh, we just had a new roof put on yet, uh, last year. And yeah, the, the, the loudest part is the, when they strip all the old stuff off. And so he was just, he was just losing his mind. Okay, this looks good. I'm pretty happy with this. Probably need to repair that. Uh, you know, if we just had some... If we just had some... Flour and oil on us, that would... That would be fantastic. Okay. Let's go ahead and just drop this. We'll just drop some excess weight here. Probably not going to need that. I mean, we're not going to need... I don't think we're going to... Oh, there might be some saplings up there. So we'll just drop this. No, no, we'll drop this. It weighs more. I mean, we can just drop... That doesn't really weigh much. I mean, I guess the prepper's pies we can drop. We're not going to need them. Might need the rose hip. What else? There's some other just odds and ends here we can drop. I mean, we're really super light, but if we get some stuff, I mean, we can bring a bunch of stuff back. That's sort of like what I'm shooting for here. Okay, we can start sleeping now. We can actually climb up at night if it's nice, so we'll just... We'll just do a little... Make water sleeping. We're gonna go, uh... We go into the mine, we could... Have maybe left some of those sewing kit. Yeah, the sewing kit. I got a bunch of those, don't I? Oh, I just missed it. I just missed it. Oh, well. I saw it disappear. Yeah, I got a fair bit of sewing kits here. <laughs> Probably don't need these many torches because we have the lantern. Fifty-seven. Okay, so let's throw some more sticks on here. Boom. Boom. Let's see if we can sleep for an hour. Oh, uh, two minutes, okay. I mean, there's really no reason to do this. We don't really need any of this. Boom, bam, baby. All right, we got another hour on the fire. Let's just keep going. Might as well. Doesn't hurt.
Okay, and then after this, we'll just we'll sleep. We'll just sleep out this storm. Of course, it just stopped. But we need to, we need to rest some more. Oh. Okay. All right, let's drop some water. That's a good time right there. They just fit so nice and neatly next to each other. And I'm not an OCD type person, but I do I do know people really appreciate that. Okay. I'm shocked you can still get a can of water after an hour of sleep still with a cooking fire. I know you just so, you get so fast at making water when you're cooking five, but You gotta be quick. Actually, I didn't. Need, I didn't even realize. I did, it was. It's one of those things where you just don't know, and so you're you're successful at it because you just sort of happen into it because you just don't realize that you know you shouldn't be able to. That was kind of what I credit that to, because <laughs> I didn't know either. I wasn't sure. Okay. All right, well, let's see what we got. I guess I eat sardines. Yeah, ignorance is a huge advantage. That's right, Pest. <laughs> okay, so let's sleep until we get to the point where we have full energy and then we'll, we'll climb. Man, it's nice right now. It'd be a good time to go right now. But let's just go ahead and just... This is a two-rope climb, and it can be a little... You know, it can... It can take a lot out of you. This... The game hates him for this one trick. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's... Oh, wait. We might need room for coffee. Save room for coffee. Very important. I'm going to go ahead and put these on. Alright, we got our bedroll. Did I grab my skillet off of the fire? Let me just check, make sure. I can't see anything right now. Okay. Alright, looks like we're all set. Let's go. Shh, the game will hear you? Oh no. Oh no, I said it already. It's too late. Just in case there's respawn. We'll keep her keep, keep stay on her toes. Never let your guard down, Shabby. Don't do it. The the wolf corpse is already gone, looks like. Unless I'm just not seeing it. Oh here it is. Never mind. No, it's right there. Right in front of you, Shabby. Okay, up we go. Pilus. A pilus climb. I already feel like we're going like too slow. I'm gonna rest. There's not much stamina we have to get back, but. If it was just this one rope, I would. I'd just go for it, but... Coffee before you get tired. Literally last time Godin and I felt a bit. Got a sprain and bruise. Told Great Bear, Thanks Great Bear, why don't you spank me harder? Then <laughs> a wolf comes around the corner and literally jumps me. Oh no! Well it did! I mean, you asked for it. You asked for it, Nuka. Let's see. Do you think I need coffee? I don't know. I probably, I probably will drink a cup. I'll, I'll drink a cup. Just to make sure we're covered. Oh, I see what you mean. I didn't realize that. So the coffee actually is more than just... It didn't just give you fatigue back. It also acts as a buffer. 
so you don't lose lose it as fast or something. I didn't realize that. So it is like the warming bonus. Interesting. Okay, well that is that was a new 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 to me. And I'm glad I know now. I just uh, I just thought yeah again I just thought you just learned I uh, sorry learned I, re I read what you said right or I read what you wrote right while I was trying to talk but yeah I just thought that coffee just gave you a bump on your fatigue back and that was it but it actually slows the reduction of your fatigue as well what can I say I did ask for it in a in a way I was pretty it was pretty funny won't tempt the great bear gods again yeah you gotta be careful. Just bite your tongue, man, if you're thinking something. Don't make any comments about the weather either would also be my recommendation. Because, you know, they're listening. They are listening. I'm going to go up here and see if there's any... I know there's mushrooms up here, but I'm going to check and see if there's a sapling. And then we're going to hop into this cave and warm up. Don't poke the great bear. You said it. You said it, pest. You said it. Okay, now this is one of the this is one of the Polaroid spots, and I think we have the actual Polaroid for this spot. Yeah, see, but we're again we're saving that for later. That's for later. I could eat a horse. Okay, we're gonna pop into this cave. Usually, there's like. I want to say uh, some, you know, like beans or sardines or something, and a little bit of fuel, and that's about it. I mean, it's better than nothing, though. I'm not complaining. Wait, is it here? Okay, here it is. No, maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to see. Here we go. Got, got it going backwards. I guess we have Mr. Spelunky we could use. I guess I'm gonna call him Mr. Spelunky now. <laughs> Starting now. I guess that's a thing. Uh, you really need to add a ravaged horse carcass to the game before they are done updating. I would absolutely be down for that. I mean, there had had to have been some livestock here. Well, or like a cow or cows or something. I don't know. I mean, it is pretty, it's not really past, not a lot of pastures. Well, there's that pasture in, in Pleasant Valley. Um, so, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, Mr. Spelunky's a le legend. <laughs> Has to be a horse so Astrid can finally eat one. Oh, oh, I get it. I get it. I wasn't listening to what she was saying that. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. I get it. I missed that. That's hilarious. Alright, well, let's drink these sodi pops. Well, we can't. Let's see. Find something else to eat then, Shabby. We need to get some vitamin C in us anyways. We've been... It's been a... It's been a bit since we've had any vitamin C food. It's probably good that we're eating some cattails. I'm trying to think. It's probably been... I mean, it's been since... Probably Coastal Highway since we've had any vitamin C of any, like, really consequence at all, so... So probably need to start thinking about that. Maybe eating some more cattails as we're, you know, moving along here. Okay, so we don't have to rest too long. I just want to warm back up, really, but we'll just sleep for an hour, and then we'll go on down to the mine. You know, it doesn't matter if it's daytime or nighttime when you're down in there, down in the mine. Oh, it's a can. Okay. I just want to have enough energy to run through the gas. That's really all you need. You used 
tees for warmth a lot though, right? I do. Yeah, I do. I don't, I'm not going to need them right now, but yeah, if I'm like, if I'm traveling a pretty good distance. I like to have, I like to have a set of warm tees is typically what I do. I don't do it as much now, but I still do it. And I definitely, I mean, early game, I definitely do it. I do it all the time. I play like, I practically play like Nogoa style early game. I guess we probably need these rabbits. I do need a little bit more meat, so we probably should go ahead and let's just do a, let's just do a rock. Oh my god. Wild throw. Holy smokes. I don't even know what that was. I think these mittens are really throwing me off here. My fingers there we go. Numb. Same, and I'm right at 200 days with no mention of scurvy wrist yet. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, that's why you're bringing up the, uh, for the, for the rose hip teas. I was drinking a little bit. Yeah, I guess I was drinking some rose hip teas. That's probably why I'm not seeing any kind of risk popping up. And I avoid eating my precious cattails pretty avidly. It's probably a good idea. It's probably a good idea. Like I say, the way I, the way I, I haven't said this in a bit, but the way I always manage my cattails is I just eat enough, if I have to, I just eat enough to bump me along until I get to another, you know, cache of food. So, I, own, I never eat ex, an excessive amount of cattails, although I just did a second ago. <laughs> but, forget that, that doesn't count. But, usually, I'm, I'm really just eating just enough to get me to the next spot. Yeah. And then just, you know, extra, another little side tip is when you're leaving an area, you should fill up on all the food that you can before you leave and that before you start traveling. Actually, there's, let's go on down, down in here. And I think there's sometimes there's another rabbit down in here, and then there's some coal as well. Oh, there's two rabbits. Okay. Did I scare them already? No, right there they are. Oh. Try to get him on the run. Come back. Oh, he's still going. Still going. Oh. Oh, we got him. <laughs> Man, this pack is getting kind of heavy. Oh, there he is. Maybe we can get another one. Oh, missed him. This is a good time right here, folks. We're just dying out here, trying to, trying to ha hit a rabbit with a rock. Come back. Okay. Yeah, we got him again. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting this. I'm getting this. The coal out here is chunky. Yeah, we got some chunky coal. Speaking of chonky items to pick up, did the I think the birch bark are there's no more giant birch bark, right? I think that's been quote unquote fixed. I would say probably ruined in my book. We all love the giant. We all we all love the giant birch bark. Yeah, I got lucky there. <laughs> I got lucky on that shot. Oh, wait, here's a container over here. Let's grab this. Yes, Sally, the birch bark canoes are gone. Yeah. So sad. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. All right, let's go on in. 
I usually will put a fire out here. Okay. Let's just go in and warm up. Okay, let me just see what we got here. Okay, we'll leave this fuel here. And cook up these rabbits. Okay. And we did pick up a prior bar. Okay, good. Alright. Um, look at all these. We got almost two and a half kilos of rose hips. Oh boy. It's a bit much. Broken railroad. Uh, see, I'm kind of disappointed you can't ride the sled down the s steep hills to. Oh, that would be awesome. Broken railroad used to have a fire striker the size of a whole baloney. <laughs> uh, I don't remember that. I don't. I really don't remember that. Oh yeah, you uh, pest. You mentioned the crackers, cracker cave the other day, and I and I. I didn't remember until after I was done streaming. I was like, oh, he was talking about the the uh, the cave that by the winding river that used to have crackers in it. And, um, yeah, no longer. So sad. Uh, imagine, oh, uh, I was just, when you found, it was when you found it in the truck at the lodge. Sliding down, I mean, I'd probably kill myself. I'm gonna need to eat soon. Alright. I think I got lost in chat. That's okay. Let's see, we don't need either of those things. Sometimes there's an arrow shaft. Oh, look at this, we got a bedroll too. It's another spot for the bedroll. Yeah, if you don't find the bedroll in the in the prison, it's gonna be right here, underneath that table, so. I think, I think those are, it's an either or. It's either gonna be at the prison or right there. Every time. Okay, let's leave. Let me see, what time is it? It's sunrise, let's go outside and let's cook these rabbits up. Before I go on down, because I am getting t I am getting hungry. I'm not sure I'm carrying much. Shabby's a hungry. Oh, oh, you're talking about the fire striker. Okay, it was when you found it in the truck at the lodge. Oh, it's a oh, I do. Yeah, I vaguely remember that. Yeah, 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 I do remember that now. It was a giant fire striker, just on the dash or something. Yeah, on the fire truck on the dashboard of the truck. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, I remember that now. Now, I wonder if this wind... Okay. Looks like this might be okay. We're gonna use another... We're gonna use another match. We've been pretty good about mag lenses, so... This is alright. We'll be... We'll be okay. We'll be okay. I'm just keeping an eye on my, my match. My match uh, supply. Come on, little fire. I think we're gonna be totally fine on it, but... You know, just we're I mean we're still not even halfway yet, so I wanna you know. Once we start getting closer towards the towards the end, then I can be more like, okay, yeah, we're definitely we have no worries at all. And again, we can't make any pies. It's very sad. Very, very sad. Okay, that's the one we've harvested. Oh, I admit, we're sitting right here freezing. <laughs> I'm gonna throw a coal on. Let's throw a coal on here. I'm gonna have to drink a birch bark tonight. Actually, we'll just throw the rest of this wood. Man, that's a lot of fire. Two fur. A two fur. Alright, I'll throw a coal. We'll get, we'll get plenty of coal. I don't know why I need to dither so much about my coal. We're gonna be totally fine. Oh shoot, hang on. Uh oh, picked up the wrong one, there we go. There we go, all right, now we got it. 
Oh, the wind stopped. Nice. Oh. We'll see. Isn't it? Yeah, I don't know, man. I think it had to do with the elevate. Maybe it just has to do with the elevation of it, or like it's. I don't know, dude. I mean, I, anyone that can do this kind of stuff is a genius in my book. So I don't know. I'm definitely not one to say, "Oh, they should have done blah blah blah," or did they consider? I, I, I think the terrain is messing with it or something. But it... I mean, the actual... Whenever you get them in the same position there... you're I mean, you're right. It's the scale. But it has something to do with the actual terrain or something. But I'm not quite seeing a huge difference there. Maybe it was just... I missed what you were saying before. When they first put out the animations, the bunnies were, was like smaller than a, a, want, a can once you... Oh, it was. There were tiny rabbits. I remember that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You must be right, Pest. That must be like the scale. Because that... I do remember that now. That does remind me. There was like tiny... Oh, a tiny rabbit. That's right. <laughs> I had forgotten about that. Okay, um, guts, I'm not sure, let's make a birch bark tea, and then I need to rest a little bit before we go on down into the rest of the mine, mainly because there's just a part where you have to run through the gas, but it's, I mean, it's not that bad, there is actually, now there's a pit stop that they added, so you can sort of, you can escape the gas, by a little side little side passage you don't really need you don't really need it though unless you're like really going slow I'm afraid I'm gonna burn my teeth to do that okay I guess we can just sit here and make water and uh, I can just Take care of these rabbits real quick. Okay, here we go. Alright, we'll go ahead and get another hide. I gotta check on something real quick. Okay. I'm gonna have to take like a two minute break because I'm I'm trying to get I'm running like some I'm running some processes here and I have to I have to re I have to get the I have to run it again real quick. Okay, let me do this. Go ahead and get this hide, and then I'm gonna take just a couple minute break. I just have to get this tool to rerun again real quick. Okay. Just a sec. Okay, Shabby's back. It just... I, I have to run these things that take like... Sometimes they take like 30 minutes to run. So, while that's run, I can play some TLD. <laughs> Good time. 
Okay, should we get some... Let's get let's get a couple of guts. Just to, future Shab, you might appreciate a gut or two in here. So let's do that. And then we'll go... And then we'll go on down. Thirteen minutes. Okay, we'll get one more gut, and then that's it. Future Shabby needs some guts. That's right. Absolutely. We gotta look out for Future Shabby. Treat him right. Okay. Alright, let's grab a couple of torches. Just in case we're running out of gas or something crazy. Okay. Alright, let's go on in. Jiggle your mouse so people at work will think you're busy, Shabby. <laughs> Is that that trick works every time? Works every time. Man, I have got to get rid of these. I got to put these rose hips somewhere. I have too many rose hips. Out of control, man. Wait, what was that? Oh, it's the... Okay. I saw something red, and I was like, what's this? Drop those noisemakers. Do we... Ne yeah, we need a pry bar. We don't... not gonna need flares. I might need... I mean, I'll just hang on to one just in case. I mean, for whatever reason. Oh, we have the extra bedroll, too. Okay. Drop that. Okay. All right, I am gonna rest for just just a few minutes here, or sorry, a couple of hours. Uh, oh, there's a spot in there somewhere. Okay, here we go. All right, two hours. There we go. We want Future Shabby to be properly outfitted. Yes, that is the goal. Absolutely. Yeah, looks like we might run out of... Oh, we'll probably get some oil down here, I bet. I bet there we'll find some, I'm sure. Okay, back this way. Here we go. We found the sleeping pixel, everyone. <laughs> yes. It's true. You do have to just... Find that one pixel, and then you can't sleep here. This is acceptable. I remember what, uh, shoot, what was it in the, in story mode? You had to, tr I was trying to figure out, like, I was trying to decipher, I can't remember what it was. It wasn't there, like, some combination you had to, like, come up with? And I was, like, looking at the doorways with, like, letters and stuff and trying to, I don't know what, I, I can't even remember now. It's been so long, but I, I don't know. I, I remember something was painted on the walls, there were like letters or something, and I was trying to like figure out if there was like some secret code. You know, just totally overthinking it. Okay, here we go. Lantern fuel, need that, that's good. You haven't played story mode person? Oh wow. Um I don't know, I always like to just play it, just just to play it. The princess in the pixel? <laughs> <laughs> That's good. I love it. I love it. Um, I haven't played the story mode. Okay, I don't know. I mean, I'd recommend it. I mean, it, it can't. It probably, you know, for sort of a veteran player, it's gonna be pro probably semi boring. But I don't know. It just if you're into like kind of the, you know, it's just sort of world building, I guess, you know. 
But I'm, I'm, I, I never read any of the letters or anything like the notes that I pick up off the ground. So it's like I don't know. To each their own. There were several dumb puzzles, and then in the end, it just picked just like every survival mode safe. Yeah, it was like. Uh, I mean, actually, I don't. I don't totally remember how it works. But I remember there was a part where you had to stand in some position and like there was a flickering light or something. Am I making that up? I don't know. I didn't have a memory of that. Uh, okay. Here we go. You're replaying it? I want to have a fresh... A fresh run going when episode 5 drops. That's a good idea. Otherwise, I'd have to play through the whole... Yeah, you have to play through the whole thing otherwise. Although, I want to replay the... There's a part where you play Astrid and you're rescuing the... The airplane... Uh, you're rescuing the survivors from the air airplane crash. And... Um, and there's you're fighting timber wolves and I mean to me I love that a lot of I mean some people find that found that to be annoying but I really I really thought it was fun I would I not only played it the one time I wouldn't mind playing that again yeah zone of contamination mask I would would totally have worked in this uh, in this mine but again you can pretty much just get through it no problem I am weighing myself down with a bunch of coal, though, so I don't know. We'll see. I might have to use that little side passage. All right, right there it is. There's always beef jerky there for some reason, which I'm not complaining about. I think long ago, the... Oh, look out. The... There used to be a Mackinac would possibly spawn on this, but I don't think that happens anymore. And we're just going around this way just to loot a backpack, so... Uh, but, you know, we're going to be thorough looters. We're going to loot everything. It's probably not worth walking all the way around here to do this. Just one backpack. Can you get through the? Can you get the backpack through the bars? I actually just realized. Yeah. Okay. Then back. That's it. Oh boy. My run is still in episode two. I'm stuck outside the world's dumbest prepper cache in. Uh, forlorn muskeg. I always want to say forsaken. Uh, Forlorn Muskeg waiting on Aurora that hadn't happened in over two weeks. Wow. That is, that is, that's quite the drought. That's quite the Aurora drought. Can you imagine a prepper designing a bunker with a lock that needs power to open? <laughs> yeah, that would be kind of like, yeah, that's kind of like not really thinking in advance, is it? <laughs> It's a catch-22 situation. Diva State. Why no Mystery Lake? Oh, well. Good question. The reason why is because I've played Interloper so much that I noticed that I was kind of doing the exact same thing when I was playing Interloper. And, and at the same time, I was also looking at routes, try, trying to figure out routes through the maps, and I realized that I could bypass Mystery Lake if I lowered a rope down in uh, from the ravine to the, um, sorry, from the upper part of Bleak Inlet. You could totally bypass Mystery Lake and, and hit all the zones. So I just thought, 
Well, let's just do a run where I don't go into Mystery Lake and just see what it's like. I just want to see how my normal patterns, how they change. And, uh, yeah, it's been pretty wild. It's been a very weird run for me. No, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, I like to, I like to give my, you know, I like to give myself a little bit of a challenge here and there to do something. And, um, I just thought it would be fun and interesting to do. So, and it has been. I had a good time. All right, let's see here. What's our weight? Okay, I think, uh, I don't know, let's see. And we can still run. And there is that side passage. Oh, look at all this water we have. It's the water again, Pest. It's the water. Let's drop some of this water. Slowing us down. Okay. Let's see. Anything else? Anything else we need to do? Any kind of dead weight that's just pointless to carry around? We'll drop a couple torches. Okay. This would just be a completely stupid way to die if we did, so. All right, here we go. I have always have too much water. It does seem like that, doesn't it? Uh-oh. Got stuck. We got stuck. Run, Shabby. Run. Now, there is a side passage here that got added at some point. Let's go in here and use it just to use it. Isn't this weird? And I think it just... I think that's it. Goes underwater. But uh, this wasn't here at first. This wasn't... Um, Whenever this part was, when this mine was first added, there was there wasn't a side chamber there. You could still make it pretty easily though. It wasn't that bad. May not need three whetstones back there. <laughs> Shall I leave them? <laughs> uh, really, we're looking for maple syrup. Is really that's the main thing. That's what we're really looking for. Uh-oh. Did I go too far? I went too far. You've gone too far, Shabby. Okay, here we go. I wish I wish it were for, for pancakes, but it's for uh, it's for Amber flight porridge. I'm trying to elevate the peach. You know, we're trying to elevate the peach, and so the two dishes we want to make is Amber flight porridge and Lily's pancakes. So I guess yeah, we are making pancakes. It's just not the normal, regular old pancakes. It's it's uh, acorn flour and all that stuff. The legendary Black Rock candy syrup mine. Oh, please be true. I hope the legends are true. We have a ton of coal, man. A ton of coal. I think maybe this these uh, lockers are my only. Hope for pancake, or sorry for. If I can drop any of this gear. For maple syrup, in here. Don't need that. Guess we can grab, grab this torch. Couldn't hoit. Guns, guns, guns. We don't need that. Here's the code for the. This is the code for the workshop in the prison. See here. Got to grab that, and then once an aurora comes, then you can get into that shop. Oop. I guess let's grab the antibiotics. Why not? Okay. Alright, looted. No syrup, though. So sad. 
So sad. Maybe there's syrup up on this pedestal. Just like right in the middle with the, with the light, the shaft of light shining down on it. Angels, cherubs singing. I think you can get some... I think there's always uh, gunpowder down here at the bottom for some reason. Don't really need it though. The, are you talking about the uh, Lily's pancakes being comforting? I mean, regular pancakes are very comforting as well. I always say they give you a moral, a morale. I said moral. A morale buff. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go for Lily's pancakes. Even better. Even better. Yeah, so like I was saying, you have to stand right here or something, and then a little light will flicker and give you the code or something. Wasn't it something like that? I don't know. I can't remember. I just have this vague memory of that. And the, and the number of flickers will give you the, the... Oh yeah, there was one missing number. That's what it was. There was a missing number. You had three of the numbers. There was a missing number. You had to figure out what the what the fourth number was to get the code. Oh, it gives you a digit in the safe combo. Okay, that's what. Yeah. Okay, the safe. I don't remember where the safe is, but yeah, it's this is all vague memories here. I I just vaguely remember the stuff. Alright, and back up to level one, and then we're done with the mine. We're coming up on an hour, so I'm going to stop now for the day, once we get out of this mine. Um, so yeah, I guess I didn't make it as far as I had thought I would, but that's okay. That's okay. And I'm going back to that question about Mystery Lake. I have nothing against Mystery Lake, and I have nothing against people that spend a tremendous amount of time in Mystery Lake. It was just a personal thing that I wanted to, I wanted to, you know, I like to, I, whenever you get into a habit, you get into a rut, and I wanted to get out of that rut. So that was really probably the number one reason why I'm not doing Mystery Lake. Is just to break it up you know and it is kind of interesting the things that happen when you do something like that um, for example I I'm having a very difficult time with m managing all of my stuff because I usually have everything centrally located at the dam and right now I have stuff all over the damn place and I can't keep track of things. I'm forgetting things. I didn't even bring my flour and oil this time. And you know, it's just, it turns in, and especially someone that doesn't take notes, it's especially difficult. But you know, I wouldn't have learned that otherwise. And now we've learned that Shabby suffers from not taking notes. <laughs> It's just like you don't, you just don't realize the things you're going to learn until you, sometimes you start doing it and then you realize like, oh wow, this, you know, whatever, X is a factor that I'd never considered before. And that's what I love about this game. It's so cool. You can just, you can just do one little thing, change, tweak one little thing and then all of a sudden it just all these things happen as a consequence of that that you did not expect. And I love that. The real treasure is the personal failings we discover along the way. <laughs> ah, that's great.
It's really uplifting. <laughs> oh, it turns out I really suck at this. Oh, okay. That that's that's I'm glad I know that now. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's just poke her head out and just just cause I just want to see what's going on out here. Sounds like it's kind of nasty. Oh yeah. Okay. Definitely. Success is walking from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. I like that. That's good. That's a good one. Uh-oh. Okay, let's find the pixel. We're a princess. Princess Astra needs to find her pixel to sleep on. Oh. Oh, it's in here somewhere. There it is. We found it. Well, there we go. Okay. Okay. That is a great, great quote. I agree. All right. Let's leave this. Well, we'll sort our gear out later. Um, we have a ton of coal. We're going to have to leave some coal for sure. I'll sort the gear out later, though. So what we're going to do right now is just get a little bite to eat. We're going to hang on to those cattails. Is there enough room here? Okay, we got some room to drink their sodi pops. Let's go ahead and just do that. Get those out of our inventory. All right. Okay, I'm gonna sleep for uh, I'm gonna sleep for ten hours here. It's gonna probably put us in a middle of the well, not middle of the night, but we're gonna have, might have to pass some time. But that's okay. We'll be fine. Okay. Pest, Nuka, and uh, I have to scroll up and figure out who was that? Deva, Devastate. Oh, that's a cool name. I didn't realize that. I'm, you know, I'm playing this game, and sometimes I'm like not really paying attention. Cool name. Uh, thanks for popping in. Um, really appreciate it. And uh, any lurkers out there as well? Everyone, I'm gonna actually do a raid this time. I know I kind of kind of stiffed everybody last <laughs> yesterday. Let's start. Let's do a raid. Let's raid, uh, let's raid Paralupal. No, wait a minute. We did them. Let's do, let's do Athena. Let's do a Paralupal. That's the only three people I have right now. Oh, Laszlo's popping in and saying hello. Welcome, Laszlo. We're raiding now, Laszlo. <laughs> you were one of the lurkers out there, I guess. Okay, folks, everyone, take a shabby. We'll see you next time.